All right, what's going on? Another uh, relaxing oil painting with Craig Clotter. Let's see what we got going on today. I'm gonna start in with a uh, with a nice sky. <clears throat> I'm gonna take some uh, thalo blue, touch of crimson here. Kind of mix those two together on the brush. Thalo blue and crimson, and we're gonna go all the way across. Just kind of get this in the canvas here. And I want to start dark in the corners. Because you need that dark in the corners. It draws you into the center. Draws you into the center. And that liquid white, look at how nice that liquid white's working. Straight across the canvas, no problems whatsoever. I just want to keep starting up here. And just give it some color. I just want to condition this canvas. I want to get this all in here so we're good to go. Okay, keep brushing that paint in there, mixing crimson together with blue. Just keep crushing that in there. Really get moving. All right, and I want a little bit more darker on the top. Just gonna keep going. Jump some right in there, just jump some right in there. Okay, little swirlies, little whisker doos in there. There we got us a nice little sky background just like that. Well, I gotta love the wet on wet technique. I'm gonna go ahead and grab them two colors a little bit of black in there. I want a little darker color for the water down here. And I'm just going to keep going. Keep going in between the black and the crimson and the blue. Black ivory, Elizarian crimson, phthalo blue. Just keep rocking and rolling with that stuff. And today it's going to be, you know, we're going to do a little bit of reflections. So I want this to be dark down here. It's always got to be darker the closer it is to you. That's why I'm doing this. Let's just pull that straight across. Start from one side and pull it straight across. Condition this canvas. Nice dark. Nice dark water. Nice dark water. Okay. So, uh, I just want to make sure it's to my liking. <laughs> A little bit more blue in there. And a little bit more blue in there. There we go. By the time I'm done with this, my hand's going to hurt. <laughs> and voila, we have a conditioned canvas, okay? Now what we want to do... Going to my one inch brush here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white, a little tiny touch of crimson. Going to my white here. A little too much crimson. There we go. It's gonna form a cloud right in through this area here. There we go. Gotta love that. Nice, beautiful pinkish uh, cloud in there. You know, we put a little Azurian crimson in the in the uh, blue, and I want to make some streakers going in here. So just 
dance that brush wherever, give it the impression of some clouds coming in through here. There we go. I'm just going to blend the bottom of them out. Blend the bottom of that out. Grab my two inch brush here. Clean two inch brush. All right, I'm just gonna grab the corner of that. Keep that top. And this over here, I just wanna wanna make him like a streaking down. I'm just gonna blend this all in, blend this all together. And that's our sky for today. Now what I wanna do is make a dark color because I'm gonna start rocking and rolling on some mountains. A little black, brown, blue, crimson. A little bit of white. A little bit more white. There we go, I like that color. Good, nice color. Let's collect all that up. Pull it out nice and flat, get a good roll of paint on there. All right, actually I want it a little darker than that. A little more crimson, a little more blue. All right, so there we go. Got a little roll of paint here. Uh, well, I think I want the cloud or the mountain to be up in about this general region here. I'm just gonna make some powerful moves with the stroke of the knife. Real, real nice, sharp, jagged mountains today. Yeah, I like that. I like where this is going. You know, and the knife is not easy to use. I mean, it's uh, definitely takes skill. And that's what these are good for, these kind of mountains. Uh, develop your skill with this knife. It's not the easiest. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some little jagged marks in here, make a nice, make a nice jagged mountain here. And this is another scene from the Grand Tetons. I'm a big Grand Teton guy. So that's where this is inspired from. Just an FYI on that. All right. So we got that corner made there. Let's want to bring this down pretty quick. Just want to keep making some nice, jagged, beautiful moves here for the outline of this guy. Maybe right here we have a nice peak. I say so. I think so. And I want to get some color all the way to the bottom of this because I want to put some clouds in here. So I'm just going to knock myself out with color in the center of this. Let's go with the lay of the land a little bit. The lay of the land. There we go. Let's make this a little more jagged. There we go. I just wanted some a nice jagged look. Why not, you know? That's going to do a little swoop. I'm going out here to probably like a peak out there. There, I like that. I can live with that. Then over here, back in the distance, we're gonna have another little, another little quick mountain here. Another little quick mountain here. Make him, you know, he's he, everybody needs a friend, right? I mean, come on. Can't just make one mountain all the time, you know. <laughs> Technically, it's still probably the same mountain, you know. You got to use your imagination. You know. Uh, I like it, though. I like it. Okay. So we have a few mountain ranges here. And we're going to have to dress up. Go ahead and I'm going to grab my uh, two-inch brush. 
just going to grab this and I'm going to pull that down because I want this color to definitely be down here. Just like that. I'm just going to pull these ranges out. The mountain ranges out and I'm just going to kind of thin everything out. I'm trying to thin the paint out while I'm doing this. There we go. So we got a couple of really beautiful looking uh, outlines of mountains right now. <laughs> I'm going to grab some of that dark color. And I'm just going to add it in the bottom here. Add that dark color into the bottom. Just like that. Because I want it to be nice for when, I, when you see the, uh, the big picture here. All right, so we got that all cooking. Now what we need, is we're gonna grab that same mountain color, and we're gonna put a bunch of white in it. A little tiny touch of uh, crimson. We want that marble color. Let's come up here. Need that a little bit more white. And let's just start making some beautiful moves here. Yeah, and this mountain top we want we want the very top to definitely be white, lighter, and all these edges. We definitely want these to be lighter as well. Right on the outside of all that. And I'm gonna continue over to the backs. I'm just gonna keep grabbing that color. Pulling it through. Just like that. There's some nice, beautiful crimson in there. If you can see it, I probably not. I don't know. I'm just going to pull these out. Let's go to this guy here, the friend over here. Everybody needs to have a friend, right? Right. Just gonna go to all these corners. Go to this outline of this guy. Yeah. Yeah, where is And you see, it's all, you know, in, in imagination. It, it might not look like a uh, mountain to, to a particular person, but to me, it sure does. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just dancing these colors in here. I'm going to get that same mountain color. And uh, I really want it to pop, I'm thinking, right in this area here. And let's, let's bring these mountains out here. Pop these guys out. Let's keep rocking and rolling. You know, maybe up here. That's popped out. Right over here. I'm gonna use that to my advantage.
A little hole in the canvas right there. That ain't good. All right, I definitely want to get some darker color in here. Darker color up in there. Pull him out. Pop that out a little bit. That's what I'm going for here. I'm just going to go with a little lighter color now. Here we go. We got a nice jagged mountain here. That's uh, I got so much color in through that area. I can't put no more color in. <laughs> There's a lot of snow built up in through here. Right in through here. Just like that. And this guy here is gonna give him some some peaks, uh, very, very light color here. Maybe in through here there's some little crevasses sticking out here. really go for a unique looking mountain. That's my plan here. Yeah, let's put a little shadow on this guy. In between this shadow here, there's going to be a little tiny touch of white in there. On the very outside of that. Brighten that up a bit. There we go. So there we have a mountain range here that I put in. Now let's put in some clouds. I'm gonna put in some clouds. Go with my fan brush. Uh, and quite a bit of white. I wanna start my cloud right here. I'm gonna push it in right in through here. Because these are high altitude clouds or <laughs> mountains, of course, right? Keep grabbing that white. I see an issue here I might have. Not a big deal. some clouds in there. I'm just going to kind of blend this in. Just a little bit like that. I like that. I really, really, really like that. Okay, then I'm going to start up in here. Put some nice clouds in there. Because these are the, the Grand Tetons, you know, it's uh, it's definitely breathtaking, I would say. <laughs> Never seen them personally, but I'm sure it's breathtaking. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use a bunch of my titanium white up because, uh, you know, sometimes I don't know how much to put on here. I get a little crazy. 
Grab a little bit of liquid white to thin that out. And I want to just touch right along the edge of that. Just like that. And there's some clouds up in here. Just rolling. Look at these clouds just rolling in there. Beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clean one-inch brush. I'm going to go right in the middle of these. Right in the middle. Blend these up. Just like that. This one, I don't want to touch that line. Now, as light as I possibly can, I'm just going to blend this stuff here. Okay, so we have some clouds here rolling. Now, what we want to do is we're going to make some. Uh, dark spots for the tree line for the tree line all right grab my palette knife i'm gonna go right into some brown green blue crimson it's a huge pile of paints is what i want here Just a huge pile of paint. Looks like a huge pile of paint. We'll see how quick we can get through it. I'm going here and I'm going to load my uh, load my two inch brush. And I had some paint thinner in that two inch brush. <laughs> get the one inch brush here. Seems like I got quite a bit of paint on there. Just getting in some dark colors. Just keep smashing away at these dark colors. Just like that. All right. I'm going to have a little wrap around in here. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna mix another little dark color here. So it's just gonna be all my uh, brown, black, crimson, blue. I'm just, I'm just going over this because it, it didn't get dark enough, I don't think. I'm just going to go over it again. Just to get us some real good background music here. <laughs> just keep plugging away at that. I'll be back in a few minutes. No, I'm just kidding. All right. We got some dark colors in there. I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to start by thinking of where I kind of want my tree line to be.
just like that. I want it to be too, too perfect, too perfectly straight. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go into our two inch brush and a tad of liquid white. We're going to go into our yellow, touch of crimson, a lot of paint. A lot, a lot of paint. Let's come up in here. I'm gonna make a little yellow tree line right in there. That's what I wanna do. Mm-hmm. Just dance that in there. Over here, maybe we got, you know, some smaller shrubs. Let's just really get that, really get that kicking. I'm just going to keep dancing in with my liquid white. I just want this to paint really super thin. And I'm going to start over here with some greens. And I want that very end to be black. I'm going to go into my, uh, mix all these colors here. Indian yellow. Touch of liquid white. I mean, the smallest amount of liquid white that you could possibly get. Let's just get that rolling in there. Go back to my green. Down some green, just like that. Now I want to go into my crimson here. I want to make a a light crimson. Oh, I guess that turned more yellow ochre on me. <laughs> that happens. That happens. I'm going to really hit my crimson now. I'm going to hit my crimson and Indian yellow, and let's get a let's get a shiner. Look at that guy in there, brighten him, brighten him up a bit. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So uh, go back into my liquid white. Just a tiny, tiny bit of liquid white. I'm really drawing that out of my brush. I want to make a a green. Just want to make a different color than what that is. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to keep plugging away. Make everything as beautiful as I possibly can. Got a little dark crimson in there, man. What happened there? Well, the hay. Sometimes you see that in nature. Sometimes you see that in nature. I'm going to try to take a real light green here. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Almost like a lime. I'm just going to take that. Push him out there. Grab a darker green. Really push that out. Now let's see what I come up with here. Good old yellow ochre. We need to get some color on that guy. Go to my liquid white. I'm just going to go straight green. I just want to get some color on him. All right.
Now I'm gonna grab my two inch brush here. I'm just gonna grab these and just barely pull down. Uh, just barely go across. All right, I'm going to grab my liner brush. I'm going to go into some white and brown. I want that marble colored. I'm going to come in here little trees in there you can see them in the, right up in this area here this little indications of trees I'll grab my fan brush here I'm gonna go into the green I just want to put these in there nice. Just put them in there so they, they're they plugged away real nice. Just like that. And then maybe in here we have some uh, evergreens. Maybe right in here, we got a little, wherever I see, I want some nice stuff. I want some leafy areas here, all the way in the back. Now what I want is I'm gonna go into that dark color I want to make like a little cove right here, like a little cove. We're going to go in there and hit that cove. Some yellow ochre right underneath it. Touch it with some yellow ochre. Just really bring it out. Make it look like there's something, something different in the lay of the land back here. Just like that. Just bring it out. Now, what I want to do A little bit more green out here. I'm going to go back into that green. Quite a lot of green on the brush. Let's get some green and white. There we go. And really push this out. Maybe there's a little whisker do in there. Just like that. All right. I'm going to go back in that dark color. I just want to go back around that now. Just to draw that up. I just realized I went through all my reflections. That's not good. So we're going to have to fix that real quick. Let's go into here.
draw all these guys out. We need that a little darker. You know, don't worry about it. You ever mess stuff up? Well, you can go right in and fix it, <laughs> you know? Go back into my liquid white. Pull some yellow out. Go into my Indian uh, yellow. Looks like we got some Indian yellow over here. Yellow ochre. Let's get these reflections in there. We got a crimson going in here. I like that crimson. Let's put that crimson in more spots. All right. Also want to get this back in through here. We got we're going to have to darken that up. And that looks like yellow to me. I'm going to go in here and hit some yellow. There we go. So yeah, not a bad mistake. It also makes the painting look a little more full. <laughs> in, uh, in this case, I'm just going to go lightly go up. And then very lightly. Go over. All right, I'm gonna grab that liner brush. I'm gonna go back into that brown. I want it to be a little darker though. Gotta be careful here. Just that shadow of them, you know, the trees. I don't know if you're able to see that at home, probably not. But yeah, I just wanted to get the shadows of the trees in there. Maybe in here, we got some yellow ochre. Maybe right here. Pushing an evergreen quick. make that a little bit more beautiful here so yeah we got a whole bunch of stuff going on now what I want to do is I'm gonna grab uh, just straight black let's make a little shoreline here hopefully not wipe out all my uh, hopefully not wipe out all my uh, Shadows again. I'm going to dance the shoreline in here. Make it look like a make it look like a shoreline anyway. Dance that all in there. Nice and neat like. All right, we'll go up here. Darken that up a bit.
Just put a little bit more jagged areas in down here. Okay, um, now what I want to do is take my fan brush. Got some boo-boos over here. Just like that. And I want to brighten this up. Brighten this up quite a bit. All right, grab my two inch brush, one inch brush, go into my yellow ochre, pull out a lot of yellow ochre. Go into my liquid white. Quite a lot of paint in the brush, folks. Not enough though. A little bit more paint. We're going to just push in a little yellow ochre guy down here. All right. Now, what we're going to do is Call that a done painting. Thank you very much for watching uh, the relaxing, uh, uh, another relaxing oil painting.